Salam and peace and welcome to Dawa Dude. Uh, inshallah today um, I'd like to uh, show John 1 1 which is a very popular uh, verse. Uh, most Christian always address this verse and they talk about Jesus and uh, brother Najm um, I saw he explains this verse in a in a way that they, doesn't make any sense and um, uh, let me play this short clip and let me put also the John 1 1 for you to, so we can look into it. So the verse is uh, King James Version, uh, John 1 1. It says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So let's uh, how uh, Brother Najm uh, explains this verse and. Uh, will help us to address this issue also when dealing with the Christian uh, during Dawa. Anything to Trudy? She said, the nice lady she is, she's very passionate. She's very passionate about her faith. She was, yeah. You guys could end it and I don't mind carrying on. So, no, but yeah. it's all right. I'm not carrying on. Isaiah prophecy about the manual. Um, so if you look at Mary, um, she names her son Jesus, but she never calls him um, Emmanuel. Um, but it says that she will name him or call him Emmanuel. But in the Bible, Jesus is never called Emmanuel. Hi. And it also says um, he shall be called Emmanuel, not that he shall be Emmanuel. So there's a difference between he shall be or and he shall be called. And there's many Christians that are called Emmanuel. Like God with us, right? Yeah. One, it says the word which I believe to be Jesus became flesh and dwelt among us. So, mm -hmm. to Bernacle, among us, so dwelt among us, those of us today. So, essentially, that is what I'm It doesn't actually say Jesus, but it says the word was yeah. with God and the word was God. But if he says. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. So, if we substitute the word with Jesus, um, then it becomes um, the Jesus was with God. Uh, who's the father and um jesus was the father yeah, so, it doesn't so then you end up father. making jesus no, the father I, that's yeah. what we were trying to say yeah. it's like we believe that jesus was god but not the father so we believe that god is yeah. the father son the holy spirit as i'm sure you know but if you read john 1 1 if you yeah. take it literally no, then it means that no, jesus taking, is the father taking it literally it would yeah. mean in the beginning was well, what it says really, in the if, beginning was Jesus, and Jesus, and Jesus was with the Father. God. No, I'm saying God. So, but when you say God, what he's trying to say to you, yeah. Trudy, with respect, just check it out. Last time I was saying, I'll, we'll leave it then. No, I'm just saying, I, so, in John the 1 1. Like, God is referred, like Yahweh, like yeah. I, God, Jesus is God, but it, it doesn't say, like John 1 1 doesn't say Father, it says God. And I believe, yeah. I don't believe Jesus so, is so the Father. So, who do you I think the first God is referring to? First? Uh, the first oh. mention of the word God, who's that referring yeah. to? God the Father, like I do believe yeah. it is referring to okay, God so the Father. Well, no, not necessarily, like, oh, okay. I would say like, to Yahweh, like, so okay. God. And who's Yahweh? Is that Jesus? Well, God. God the Father, yeah. But, okay. but So it is the Father, so Jesus was with the Father, and Jesus was the Father. Well, I, we wouldn't believe it to mean that he was the Father. So, you know, in Revelation chapter 1, verse 9, um, it actually makes a distinction between Jesus and the Word of God. So, like the Word of like Word of God doesn't always mean Jesus. Oh, yeah. I know, because sometimes, always. like the Bible yeah, is called yeah. the Word of yeah, God. Yeah. Doesn't mean Jesus but in is the John Bible. But, yeah. One. Jesus. So, if you look at English translations yeah. of the Bible that were done before the King James, mm -hmm. like the Geneva translation, um, they translate that as meaning it rather than he. Uh, because the Greek word grammatically is mutagenda, so it can be I, translated I as it rather than. Into that before, so I'll yeah. definitely go away and I think you made an objection so when afterwards. When the word becomes flesh, yeah. then it becomes a person. But prior to that, it's like a entity, like which is what it's like a agency or communication. That's not what I think to believe, but I will based on what you said. Go and just and take also, a look at um, if you look in the Old Testament for the word word. Um, it always refers to like um, an impersonal 
like a message, like the word of the Lord came to Jonah. So there it doesn't mean Jesus came to Jonah. That means like Jonah received revelation or communication from God. Yeah, I, I do know that like there's just several different...